It was Winston Churchill who made the best case for a united Europe. I read out passages from his 1946 Zurich speech, a famous speech, the last time I was here. It is the most eloquent and powerful case for the European Union you could ever wish to read. And if you haven't read it, I can only recommend to do so. And while the UK initially chose to be on the outside, it eventually took its place on the inside, making us both that much stronger. The relationship may not always have been smooth or perfect, but what relationship ever is? Before the end of the month, I expect both the British and the European parliaments to ratify the agreement. And so in just over three weeks, on the 30, 31st of January, the UK will spend its last day as a member state. This will be a tough and emotional day. But when the sun rises again on February 1st, the European Union and the United Kingdom will still be the best of friends and partners. The bonds between us will still be unbreakable. We will still contribute to each other's societies like so many Brits have done in the European Union and as so many EU citizens do here every single day. But the truth is that our partnership cannot and will not be the same as before. And it cannot and will not be as close as before because with every choice comes a consequence. With every decision comes a trade-off. Without the free movement of people, you cannot have the free movement of capital, goods, and services. Without a level playing field on environment, labor, taxation, and state aid, you cannot have the highest quality access to the world's largest single market. The more divergence there is, the more distant the partnership will be. And without an extension of the transition period beyond 2020, you cannot ex expect to agree on every single aspect of our new partnership. We will have to prioritize. The European Union's objective in the negotiations are clear. We will work for solutions that uphold the integrity of the European Union, its single market, and its customs union. There can be no compromise on that. But we are ready to design a new partnership with zero tariffs, zero quotas, zero dumping, a partnership that goes well beyond trade and it is unprecedented in scope. Everything from climate action to data protection, fisheries, energy, transport, space, financial services, and to security. And we are ready to work day and night to get as much done within the time frame we have. 